Good morning everyone, this is our guided reading lesson for this week and our extract that we are looking at today is the Be Prepared song from The Lion King. So in your packs you will have the lyrics of this song, dig them out for me now. You do not need the questions today, we are just going to look at the vocabulary of this song. The first thing I need you to do is follow the link on Dojo, which is also on your screen now, and it will take you to a video of The Lion King when the song is being performed and the lyrics on screen. You can watch it a few times, you can have an idea about what's going on, you might already know the song because Lion King is a great film, or you might just want to watch it a few times so you can have a little bit more of the understanding of what is going on. You can see the role of Scar, which is the lion, and the role of the hyenas. I want you to try and think about the relationship of those two characters. Who's more in control, who's more in charge, who's more submissive and taking the orders, and write those ideas down for me. So this song is performed as a musical number in the film and in the musical by Scar. He lusts for the position as a king of the Pride Land. So currently we've got Mufasa and we've got Simba, and they are wanting and they are currently kings of the Pride Land. Scar is Mufasa's horrible brother that wants to take his crown. So he's inspired to develop a plot for both his brother Mufasa and Simba to be murdered. So he wants to kill them off to be in charge. So he tells the audience about this plan through a song to the large army of the hyena minions of his. And he says that if you join me, I won't let you go hungry. I won't let you starve and they have to provide him assistance. So that tells me he's really quite um, manipulative. He's quite ignorant. He's very selfish. So that tells me a bit about the character of, the, of Scar. And I can tell the hyenas would just do anything to get food. They're a little bit stupid. As he says, they're dead behind the eyes and they just want some food. So can you tell by watching the music video what is going on in that song. I want you to write down a few ideas about what's going on and the two characters as well. So why, I ask, are we doing this extract this week? Well, that's a nice easy one. Because we are focusing on the process of mummification this week, I think it's a really good choice because the whole theme is being prepared. In The Lion King, they are being prepared for becoming king for Scar to take over and lead the way and the hyenas are being his loyal subjects. Whereas in ancient Egypt, the pharaoh would always prepare their tomb, their sarcophagus, their amulets, what they want in their tomb years before they actually died. Sometimes they would have this all prepared when they were a child. They did this so they knew that when the time came when they died, their tomb would just be laid out and had everything they wanted in it exactly as they had wished. So they had the best chance of being accepted into the afterlife. So like Scar, the pharaohs had an army of people to ensure their meticulous preparations went to plan. So even though they are completely different scenarios that the song's talking about and that we're doing this week, the whole theme of being prepared for what's coming next... Um, runs quite smoothly through our guided reading and through our English this week. So here are the lyrics on the screen and you should have them in front of you as well. I'm going to talk through them. I'm going to underline any words that I think we might not know together. And as I'm doing this, I want you to do the same. If I do not underline a word, but you still don't really understand what it means, I want you to still underline it on your sheet in front of you. So I'm going to choose red and I'm going to go through it. So I never thought hyenas essential. They're crude. I don't think we know what that one means and unspeakably plain but maybe they're a glimmer of potential if allied to my vision and brain I know that your powers of retention are as wet as a warthog's backside but thick as you are pay attention my words are a matter of pride it's clear from your vacant expressions the lights are not all on upstairs, but we've talked, oh, but we're talking kings and successions. 
even you can't be caught unawares. So prepare for a chance of a lifetime, be prepared for a sensational news. A shining new era, hmm, era, is tiptoeing nearer. And where do we feature? Just listen to teacher. I know it sounds sordid, but you'll be rewarded when at last I'm given my dues and in justice deliciously squared be prepared. It's great that we'll soon be connected with a king who will be all time adored. Of course, quid pro quo, you're expected to take certain duties on board. The future is littered with prizes, and though I'm the main addressee, the point that I must emphasize is you won't get a sniff without me. So prepare for a coup of the century. Be prepared for the murkiest scam. Meticulous planning, tenacity spanning, decades of denial is simply while I'll be king, undisputed, respected, saluted, and seen for the wonder I am. Yes, my teeth are ambitious and bared, be prepared. Yes, our teeth are ambitious and bared, be prepared. So I've gone through that quite quickly with you. Uh, you can for pause the screen now and you can copy some of mine that I've underlined or you can pause it and then just reread it through. You could even put on the video again and then maybe just try and get it along with the lyrics that are on the screen and underline any of the ones that we don't know. So here are the ones that I thought we might not understand. We've got hyenas, which are the animal that Scar is talking to. We've got essential, crude, potential, allied, Retention, vacant expression, succession, era, sordid, dues, injustice squared, all time adored, quid pro quo, duties, addressee, coop of the century, so coop is that keyword, murkiest, tenacity, undisputed and teeth bared. So there's a few that I thought we might know. Obviously, some of you may know lots of them, some of you may not have a clue what they are, but that is fine. Your job today, as usual on your Monday Guided Reading, is to go through the words that you don't know on the internet, try and have a clue of what they mean, and on the sheet is in front of you, can you write down a synonym for that word? or the description of that word, the, de the dictionary definition next to it, so that when you look at that sheet of paper, you can understand what those words mean and you will remember. Because it's all well and good just looking at the dictionary now and thinking, oh yeah, I get it now. But when we come back to it tomorrow or when we look at the questions, you might not remember what they are. So make sure to write them and give yourself some notes on your sheet that is in front of you. As always, there's some pictures in front of you as well. I've done these to see if you can match any of them to the vocabulary. Sordid, obviously, is the, got the dictionary definition here, and quid quo pro, or quid pro quo, sorry. But there's a few other pictures that I think um, come across really well of the vocabulary. So we've got a coupon meter, but we still don't know what coop means. We need to look at that one. Keep going, which is a little bit like persistence. So let's see if we can find a synonym for persistence and resilience. What synonym it was in my vocabulary list. We've got people being friends up here, specifically from different countries. So what word? We've got obviously the animal on the top hand corner. We've got a water that doesn't look very clear. So what was the synonym for that? And then we've got a synonym for a door. So let's see for your dictionary definitions. I'd like a picture of your annotated um, lyric sheet telling me everything with your notes on that you have found today. So we've got questions tomorrow. And this is just a nice fun one to make sure we really understand what is going on in the text.